Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you uh, a line against the the England gambit. So d4, e5. So we take knight c6, and now we need to keep our most fe flexibility. So playing the knight first, because if bishop, uh, you might want to play the bishop to g5. You never know. I mean, knight f3 is the best square for the knight. So we played uh, there. Okay, so b bishop. Uh, there is a lot of line here. Uh, bishop c5 is uh, met by knight c3, and this is a possible line where bishop b4 is kind of forced because he was threatening knight d5. Uh, so bishop b4, queen d3, and yeah this line where white has a big advantage I mean bishop d3 is coming and yeah it's it's just a matter of time time basically even here you can play bishop uh, d3 I think this is better well Rivka thinks is it's better so yeah um, uh, bishop. That's that was bishop c5. So what I'm recommending the strategy for white is really to play dy as dynamic as possible. Uh, so yeah, and you'll see what I mean in the queen e7 line. So f6 I think is it's the the best practical bet. So against this uh, I think knight g5 and. It looks like a two knights defense, but in one in which white is really better. So yeah, you see, basic play, and now I think uh, white is winning. Cause now if he plays c6 and a3, and there will be permanent weaknesses, more permanent weaknesses. And even though white king cannot castle, he he will probably castle queen side. <clears throat> so yeah, this is the plan. For for f6, which looks like uh, a real Lopez. Um, what what is it called again? I can't remember what. It's oh yeah, the Schliemann gambit. Okay, so yeah, the Schliemann gambit. But after bishop c4, this is way better version of the d3 Schliemann. 5d3 Schliemann, I guess. Because the bishop is already on c c4, so the positional domination plan for white really works here. So I uh, here I guess d6 is the best move for all the England player out there. And I spent one hour thinking what was the best way to play against this, and I found a way. Bishop g5. So winning a pawn. But well, we get this end game, which I value really greatly for white. I mean, this is a good position, a position that she can work with. So yeah, it's a uh, it's spawn up for white, and I. He has no weaknesses, but there are tricky lines against d6. But now let's get to the fun and play queen e7. Why not? And now I recommend bishop g5. Bishop f4 is also a good move here. It transposes to our strategy. But uh, just a funny line. Here, knight c3 is quite good, and if he takes, then he gets into that trap. And white is winning. Advantage. But I recommend bishop g5, which is a more dynamic way of approaching the position. And you need to learn a bit of theory here. Basically, it goes bishop d2. Alright. So. 
so yeah taking is an error because now you can play knight c3 but I guess the best move is uh, whoops sorry the best move is just going back on e7 sorry and then bishop c3 f6 e4 takes and here bishop c4 knight f6 knight g5 or knight d2 and basically a good position for white why not so yeah but if he takes and falls into the dynamic plan then this is really hard to play for black he needs to know his stuff okay so we get in this position and he, this is better for white because now he can take on f7 it looks normal but it it's a real advantage so yeah this is against bishop f b4 if knight b4 which threatens the c2 pawn now we can play knight d4 and now the best move is a6 where after e4 white has a good position but I think here well a3 is really good one after bishop c5 rook b1 queen takes a3 knight to b3 this is all comp computer recommendation this 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 cause now knight d5 is coming into queen moves this queen e7 and e4 and this is advantageous advantageous for white but if he tries bishop c5 then it fails cuz okay so now he was threatening mate so we need to block it now if knight c6 and then knight d5 and if knight a6 this position arises and it's better for white of course cuz he has the queen so bishop c5 is n nothing now let's look at c5 for instance rook b1 and this is losing knight a6, knight d5 or yeah knight d5 queen d8 e4 with positional domination this is completely winning position so yeah thank you guys for watching this video I hope you learned something out of it leave any comments on an opening that you want me to do and yeah take care bye